Hey, what is up guys? It is Mac on Track here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what is on my Mac. Now, what I mean by what is on my Mac are applications specifically. I'm not going to go over my files and everything else that is extraneously unneeded. Now, I will be showing you my files from the Launchpad, which is a really handy way to view all your applications. And the applications that I'm talking about are applications that I've downloaded. Not ones that come on every single Mac, because obviously everyone has those. So for starters, let's just go right into my Launchpad, and I will start from the very beginning. I use Adobe Photoshop CS6, not CC, because I got it a while back uh, before CC was out, and uh, I love it. It's great to use for uh, editing standard um, photos, uh, everything from uh, self-photo, or a uh, selfie, otherwise known as, or doing something deeper like creating a thumbnail for a YouTube video. Uh, right after that, I have Adobe Premiere CC, which is a uh, editing uh, s software that is similar to Final Cut Pro and Sony Vegas, and uh, is available for both Mac and PC, and I have no idea how to use it. Um, I have heard so many great things about this application, but I myself have no idea, so I'm still learning on the internet, looking up tutorials, and hopefully getting better with it. Right next to that, we have Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is uh, my standard text editing software. Um, I got it really cheap because my mom works for Comcast, and for whatever reason, it, she gets a disk count or whatever. And so that's uh, just standardly what I use. I use it in school sometimes, and that's really great. I also have Excel, which I've never used in my lifetime. I have Microsoft PowerPoint, which I use to create presentations often. I'm not actually a big fan of Keynote. I actually prefer Microsoft PowerPoint, even though I'm such a Mac kind of guy. Right next to that, we have Microsoft Outlook, which I do not actually use as my standard email either. I primarily use mail from Apple. Um, but I still sometimes do use Microsoft Outlook. It does have some nice built-in features, as well as organization features. Also, for taking all my notes for classes, when I can, I try to use Microsoft OneNote on my Mac and not my school computer. Uh, Microsoft OneNote is a great application, allows you to create several different subsets, and is very well organized. I also use Skype primarily, not as much FaceTime. I have used FaceTime before, and I'm fine with it, but I do prefer Skype. I do occasionally go on Twitter. I rarely post tweets, but when I do, <laughs> they're generally for a pretty good purpose. And also, I like to view and enter in contests that often require me to have Twitter. Now my web browser, which is perhaps one of the most important things, and that is Google Chrome. I do not know how I would survive without Google Chrome, considering how in the first month of having Safari, it crashed like several times for me, and uh, I did not like Safari. So I did get Google Chrome off a request from my friend Nick, and uh, I've been loving it great. I uh, made my own theme. I've really customized it to the fullest extent that I can. I also use Google Drive, which is a great application that is similar to Dropbox, and it's just quicker than emailing myself something. I can just pop it in the Google Drive, and then I can pick it up from wherever I am. Now as far as my screen recorder, and what you're seeing right now is being screen recorded with ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is such a great application, I could not be more happy with it. It is a really handy application, uh, allows you to record both system audio and microphone audio, as well as your own FaceTime camera, if you happen to have one. I also use messages both on my iPod Touch and uh, my Mac. It's really handy and great. goes great with Mavericks considering you can see right here all my notifications as well as messages. I also do a little bit of gaming, not a whole lot. Uh, <laughs> I've got Minecraft right here which is my primary games and I also have League of Legends, uh, the original Minecraft launcher, Slender I play a lot, <laughs> and Octodad and Dwarfs which is just a Steam game. Uh, right there you can see Steam, which is I occasionally use to play certain games. As far as a memory cleaner, I just use straight up Memory Clean. Uh, it's such a handy application, really nice if I'm running uh, low on RAM. I did install 8 gigs on uh, this Mac, you can see. 
I have 8 gigabytes of DDR3, uh, 113.33 megahertz, and uh, it, it works great for me. I love 8 gigs, really handy to use with Final Cut Pro and Premiere. Uh, memory clean just allows you to simply clean your memory, shows the usage of active, wired, inactive, and free. So really an application, I recommend you pick this up. I don't believe it is on the App Store, but I believe you can download it on Softonic for a very cheap price. Right next to that I have Paintbrush. Paintbrush is what I used bef long before I used Photoshop. Paintbrush is such an easy application to use, it is the very equivalent of paint on the PC. Right there I have my PS2 emulator with it, which is PCSX2. Um, I've only been able to play very few PC uh, 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 PS2 games on there, um, but it, the ones that I have have worked great. Uh, I highly recommend this. I don't know how to do a tutorial for it because <laughs> uh, I had to look at several other tutorials to try to get help. Now the next one is Spotify. I was actually thinking about deleting this recently because I hate Spotify. In fact, I hate Spotify so much that I download all my music to iTunes. I simply don't see a reason for Spotify when you have something like iTunes and you can get music for free. Um, I'll show you, uh, I actually uploaded a video of how you can get any song you want for basically free. So I just don't see a point to Spotify, yet I downloaded it a while back. So. Right next to that I have 7-Zip, which is a um, uh, on archiver, I guess you could say, and it's a really handy app if I need to quickly extract files, uh, if they're big files, and uh, it's just a nice app, works well with PCX2, which was a necessary application. I also use LogMeIn Kamachi sometimes to use as um, a uh, messenger as well as to make Minecraft servers. Right there I have Dashboard, which I shouldn't have featured in here, but uh, I do use it not that often, but it is a nice application to have. As you can see, I do not have it shown as a space, but rather as a uh, just a background, and uh, that's really handy. I'll show you how to do it if you guys want me to. Um, yeah, and then I have Lytel icon, which allows me to change certain app icons that I normally couldn't, such as the Finder icon and the Trash application icon. To edit basically all my videos that aren't screen recorded, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. normally I would use ScreenFlow to edit my screen recording videos, and that is what I primarily do, but when I'm not screen recording, I use Final Cut Pro X. Now I know a lot of people don't necessarily like this application compared to Premiere, or sometimes it crashes too much. Now, I did not actually buy Final Cut Pro, um, but it has not had any issues on my computer, so I'm not entirely uh, able to relate with people who don't necessarily like it. I like the format because it's simple and easy to use, it shows you how to use it. Next up, I have the LEGO Digital Designer. Now this is an application I've been using since I was in the 5th grade, and that is what I use to plot out any and all of my designing uh, things if I'm working on a big project. <laughs> Right next to that, I have Sketchbook Express. Now, I have a lot of, lot of uh, drawing applications. I have Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Paintbrush, Sketchbook Express. And Sketchbook Express is significantly more in, uh, professional than Paintbrush, and even, in my opinion, Photoshop, in the sense that it was really made to have a graphics tablet and to make something that looks like a real painting. Now to make all my scripts, I use Celtics. Celtics is a very interesting program because it allows you to make extremely professional looking scripts. An example of such would be my script that I did of a, um, a video for my one of my video production classes. I love Celtics so much. As you can see, um, you can uh, choose different uh, scene headings, action, dialogue, all of that. So really handy. Uh, I'll save <laughs> and yeah so that is it uh, basically if there are any other applications you'd like me to go through uh, such as uTorrent, uh, After Effects, iMovie, GarageBand please let me know and please let me know what you'd like to see in the next video I'm always looking for new suggestions new tips anything you want me to do anyways thank you guys for watching and I uh, please like favorite subscribe do whatever you feel is necessary and I will talk to you in the next video